Hello my crafty friends, welcome to card number 19 in my full deck challenge. This card is jam packed with texture. If you know me, I'm a bit of a texture junkie. So this one was super fun to make. It is super loaded with texture. And the reason I have got two is because the first one, which is the one on the left with the orange heart, while I was making it, I forgot to turn on the video. So I've had to make a second one. This is how I made it. I'm going to add a piece of plain white tissue paper with some Mod Podge directly onto the face of the card. We're going to start our texturing right from this layer. As you can see, I haven't made the tissue paper smooth. I've crumpled it a little bit and left some little ridges and some bumps. And I'm just tearing off the end. There's a little bit of overlap here and there, but I like that rough look and it adds to the texture feel that we're trying to get. I'm now adding a piece of lace trim just anywhere. There's no specific place to place anything. I'm just really putting it down. This too I'm adding with Mod Podge. You could also use gel medium or craft glue. The next step is to add some bits of cardboard. This is just a piece of packaging from something. So I've just cut it into rough rectangles, a couple of different ones, different sizes, and I'm just sticking those one on top of the other with a bit of an overlap. Whatever you feel looks good, there is no right and wrong. That very top piece is a piece of corrugated cardboard. So it's quite thick and it leaves a beautiful, beautiful texture. And then the bottom left is a small little um, chipboard die cut. It looks like a little flag that I found and I'm also adding some buttons. I'm going to add another layer of the corrugated cardboard. When I say corrugated cardboard, it's just a piece of cardboard that is also part of packaging. If you had to pull it apart, it has those little ridges and the under color is that craft color. Just whatever you have. I try to keep all the packaging of things that I get. There's a use for everything and whether you're making texture for a piece like this or making a cover for a journal, there's always a use. So try and keep everything. It's also a great way to recycle. I'm now going to add a product known as 3D Sand. The brand I'm using is Powertex. I'll put the details below in the description of this video. It is essentially a texture sand used for mixed media products. It doesn't absorb any paints or any liquids, so it holds the color, which is good. And I'm just adding it with some Mod Podge and just sprinkling it on top. I really love the effects that it leaves once you've painted over it. And since we're doing everything with texture, I'm going to add some texture paste and I'm adding it with my palette knife. No right and wrong here, just add it where you feel it's needed. Leave some bits thicker, some bits thinner, leave some clumpy bits. It's all about the texture. My button is not quite secure, so I'm going to add some more Mod Podge just to secure it down better. Once everything is dry, I'm going to add a layer of gesso, which will be my base for when I start adding my color. You don't have to add gesso if you don't want to or if you don't have any, but you wouldn't be able to paint over the buttons if you don't have the gesso as the it's just a plastic button and the color would just run off it it wouldn't adhere and also the corrugated cardboard would just absorb all the color and become quite soggy so i believe you do need a base of gesso you could also use clear gesso if you don't want the white finish i'm using color burst powders in the color tangerine this is how not to do it I've added way too much. It sort of fell out a little bit too much. And because they are so concentrated, you really only need very little. I'm going to add the water now and you can see the color just explodes. It's really, really beautiful. It's a beautiful dark orange. Um, like I said, the color is called tangerine. And I've just done the first layer. I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to add a bit more powder, add some more water 
and build the color up like that until I have something that I'm happy with. As I add the water, I can also use my paintbrush to try and move some of the color around. I pick the card up and move it from side to side. Let the colors run until it causes beautiful effects. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to add my little heart. This one I think needs a white heart because it's quite a bit of orange. I'm just cutting a really rough shaped heart out of a piece of corrugated cardboard. It is white already, but I want it brighter white, so I'm adding a couple of, of layers of gesso. I'm sticking that down with some craft glue. You could also use your hot glue gun, whatever you have handy. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration to create your own cards for the full deck challenge. If you do create them, don't forget to use hashtag full deck challenge so that I can see what you've created. I've punched a hole, added it to the rest of my deck. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you are notified every time I upload new content. I'll see you again soon. Bye.